All right, so today's video is gonna be a start of a series of the basics when it comes to computers and PC gaming. There's a lot of videos on YouTube that are more tailored towards the advanced users or high-end PC gaming, but what about the basics? These are still very important. If you're brand new into this kind of stuff, you still have to learn. So with that being said, today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to clean a PC and why it is important. So a lot of computer owners don't even bother to clean out their PCs, but keeping your computer physically clean is just as important as keeping it clean from viruses and malware. And there's a lot of places for dirt, dust, and grime to build up. So what do you need? Pretty simple, compressed air. This is all you need and it will do wonders. So I bought these cans in a two pack. Little did I know that either somebody played a funny trick and sprayed all the air out of it, or they huffed it right in the store. Speaking on huffing, where I bought it from at Walmart, you do have to be 18 or older to buy this, simply because of the fact of the huffing abuse that comes along with these. So with that being said, let's go check out the PC and I'll show you how to get started. So depending on your case, mine has a tempered glass side panel that is just held on with four screws. So the first things we're gonna do is take off those four screws. All right, so once your four screws are off, you wanna be careful because your side panel is obviously gonna be loose now. So once you take this off, you can just take some glass cleaner and clean off the tempered glass just to make it look nice, get the fingerprints off, there's some smudges and dust or whatever. So for me, I like to clean out my computer about once every month. It leads to a lot less excess dust buildup and it's pretty easy to remember. So as you can see, on my rear fan there, I got a little dust buildup. My intake fans have a little buildup. My CPU fins on the heatsink, a little bit of dust. Top of my GPU, there's also some dust. You know, there's just a lot of places for dust to build up. So when you're using the canned air, it's very simple. Keep it upright. If you don't, if you tip it like this, you can see it starts to like liquefy and you don't want that getting all over your motherboard and your hardware. That's not good for it. So keep it nice and upright like this, short little bursts. And you know, there should be plenty of air in here to do multiple cleanings. When you are cleaning it out, make sure you're in a well ventilated area because it will definitely be going everywhere. And if you're inside your house and you haven't cleaned your computer in a long time, you don't want to breathe that stuff in. Another reason that it's important to clean out your computer that you might not think about is germs. You know, you're sick and you're sneezing and those germs and bacteria get in the air and they actually will get into your computer. If you don't clean your computer for like a year, think of all the germs and the bacteria that is in there. So you know, just cleaning it out, spraying it out, cleaning the glass is just another good way to disinfect as well. So most of the buildup is going to be in the fans and the heat sink, uh, little nooks and crannies like this, but definitely the fans. So a couple bursts. You can see the dust going all over the place. So also depending on your case, you're gonna have dust filters on it. I have a couple of easy located ones. One is in the back and one is in the front. So I'll start with the back first. All you gotta do is pull it off. It's just like a drawer almost. It comes out, it's just this little guy like this. Mine is pretty clean at the moment, but all you gotta do, same thing as the inside. Hit it with nice short bursts. Get all that dust out of there. Okay, so we'll put this one back in. Easy as that. So now, now for the filter in the front. It's got this nice clean all white front but it pops off with a couple of clips and there's another dust filter behind that. So we'll pop this off. Gotta use a little bit of force. Don't worry, NZXT builds very nice cases so you can pull on it. This is just magnetic, sticks right to it. Just like so, peel that off. So in the front of your intake fans, so sometimes these are a little bit more dusty but you can also have better access to your fans once you take off that front cover and the dust filter in the front. Got 
Okay, we'll hit the filter next. Looks good, place that back on there. Just like so. Take your cover, line it back up. There we go. So as annoying as it might seem, to undo all your peripherals, your ethernet, your power, your monitors from your computer and take it outside to clean it, it is very important because the dust inside can lead to overheating and overheating for any electronic is not good, especially your expensive hardware that you put into your PC. So if you let that stuff build up, it's gonna ruin your thermals, it's gonna cause nasty grime to just build up in there and it's gonna get too hot and it's not gonna be able to properly ventilate. Does that sound like something you want? I don't think so. So this is a very simple, like low effort video, but I think it is important to make videos like this that teach people who are just getting into it or know nothing about it, or maybe they're just never informed of the importance of cleaning your PC like this. So this is just the first video of many on the basic how to's when it comes to computers and gaming, whether that's how to clean it, how to build it, how to overclock it, doesn't matter. We're gonna go through it all in this series, so I hope you guys stick around. If you did enjoy this video and you wanna see more, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe. That's it for today at Tech FTP. See you next time.